everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, thanks for stopping by and joining me here today. Um, if you've just stumbled upon me, my name's Elian and the channel Silver Moonlight. Um, on my channel, I do um, all sorts of things. I do um, fashion try-ons, I do shopping hauls, um, I shop in all like the the usual places, you know, all the places that we like, B&M, Home Bargains, Poundland. Um, I, as I said, I do fashion try-ons and things like that. I, it's a lifestyle channel, so it's um, everything to do with the house and home and, you know, personal style. Um, so if that's something that you'd be interested in and you've enjoyed this video, I would love to have you click the subscribe button and the like button. That would be really, really nice and uh, I would so appreciate that. Um, and also leave a comment down below and um, I do try to answer all of my comments and um, I do fall behind from time to time but um, I do try my best to answer them and um, anyway <clears throat> today's video is a, a different one it's a little bit of a travel uh, vlog so David um we decided we were just needed a short break Um, I, I needed a short break and um, David booked this um, short break last minute. Yeah, he booked this short break last minute and he literally booked it the night before that we went. You know, it was around like 8, 8.30 he booked it and we were going the next morning. Um, so it was just like a on the spur of the moment thing. So I wasn't going to um, vlog the um, break because it was just meant to be like a total relaxing, turn off chill break but um I, I did obviously take my camera along and I was going to record for personal you know uh, like just for us but uh, it was just so beautiful guys I just wanted to share it with you in case you haven't visited that part of the country because I had I'd never been um to that part of the country before I hadn't even crossed through it you know it's, it was totally new part of the country to me um and it's quite shocking really because um, I have visited parts of the UK, but um, I've, I've probably visited like abroad more than I've visited my own country. And I think that's the one thing that COVID did. Um, it made us sort of stay at home for holidays and appreciate, you know, our own country. So, um, yeah, my pos passports, st I still have them renewed. It's still out of date. Um, so we couldn't go anywhere abroad in anywhere. And do you know what? I don't know if I'm going to renew it like right now because I'm quite enjoying exploring our country you know um so anyway this this vlog is um the Yorkshire Dales um so you know if you've been there you know exactly how beautiful it is um probably the camera won't do it justice because there's nothing like being there in the moment but I do hope it gives you like some idea of how beautiful the place is we're still in a beautiful little um cottagey barn um on a farm which was lovely um and yeah just keep on watching guys i hope you enjoy the video <laughs> Okay guys, so we've gotten to the place where I was staying. This is one of our views. Absolutely beautiful views. And this is where we are going to be staying. And I'll just walk you through. So, boot scraper. I love this. Check this out. Isn't that cute? And a little seat. I love the windows. And the little bell. How cute is that? We've got a little wreath on the door. 
And if we go in, I love the flooring, it's beautiful. So, here's the little pheasants here, sweet. And we've got some dog balls here. Um, this is just like the entrance for you, I guess, yeah, the boot room. Um, so yeah, you come in and this is the boot room. Quite big. Um, got a big mirror there. Hi. And I love all these beams as well. We've got um, for our coats and our shoes here. Um, just some magazines and things here. We've got some dog biscuits, uh, dog treats, and I do believe there's some in there. I'm not, I'm not sure what that book is yet. Um, this side is, um, you know, for um, washing your dogs down, I guess, after you've been for a walk and washing your boots down as well. <clears throat> so in the cupboard, we've just got an air there, some detergent. And there's a washing machine here. Um, lovely Belfast sink. And up here, some cupboards. I believe this will be the boiler. Yes, that's a boiler. Uh, we've got some like information left as well, and just places to visit. Um, there's dog towels and dog blankets in here. So that's the dog things. So these are really dog friendly. There's a little dog toy there as well. So that's the four, yeah. Um, I'll just pan round so you can see hi David. And we'll go into the kind of living bit. So um, we come into this area and that's our door to get out onto the patio. So I'll just quickly open it and show you um, what it's like out here. But this is the patio area that we have. Little fountain there. And some seating. Um, I love that little lantern. So here is our cottage. Um, it's sort of all this bit here and goes round. So I will pop back in and I shall show you inside. Um, so right, you come in and you're just in one like big living area. So we've got our seating area here, our like living area, and this is really warm in here. It's so toasty. It's beautiful. Um, our patio doors there to get out onto the patio. Got a TV there, and I love it's on the old Singer Swan Machine stand. That's so cute, that. And we've got, they've left some movies there for us. Um, I like the blinds as well. The blinds are really nice, uh, wooden blinds. And I love the decor. We've got a stag on the wall there. But I do really like the sofas. There isn't anything I don't like, guys. It's beautiful. Um, nice leather sofa, sofa there. Um, we've got table and chairs. So these look dead. Farmhouse cottagey. Um, really, really nice. And these bird picture. Bird picture here. That's really sweet. And there's like little touches. So this like wooden rabbit. How cool is this? It's just so, so nice. I love that. I think I'm going to ask where they got that because I absolutely love it. Um, just some things in the, um, you know, in the cabinet, wine glasses and cups, some games as well. I mean, they've thought of everything they have. There's some books. Um, so this is the kitchen area. So we've got like a central island. We've got these bar stools here. So you can sit and have your breakfast here. Or you can sit at the table as well. Um, lovely countertops. Um, I'll come round this way. And 
it's like really nice and bright and airy in here because there's like windows, skylight windows either side. So it lets in a lot of light, but then we've got these big pendant lights as well hanging. So the kitchen's really, really nice. Um, I'll just show you the kitchen. So as I said, there's a central island there and these like huge sort of hanging lights down. Uh, there, there's the hub. Um, I'll come a bit closer. So I believe in here is the fridge. So they did leave some milk. Um, and a bottle of Prosecco as well, which we're going to enjoy on the patio. Um, and they left some butter. Um, we've just picked up a bit, few bits of things. There's a freezer here as well, so all integrated. And they've also left um, some of these Fox's cookies, some lovely um, Sultana scones, um, clot clotted cream scones and some strawberry jam and some fresh bread as well so i think that's a nice touch um this is just the cooker um the cupboards are like well stocked with everything that you might need you know um for your steer and uh, actually these um all of these are left as well for us to use um, these things at the back the salt and sweet corn and things like that's left as well um, we didn't provide those we haven't provided any of this they did so we've just got this like little bit of shopping here but everything else was already here um, what's in this drawer I don't even know myself guys oh, so that's all the pans and everything in there um, I mean it's immaculate it really is so in here there's the toaster there and what's that blender yes that's a blender and we've got an oven here and is there a microwave do you have it it is yes so this is a microwave and that's the oven and underneath is the bin and a fire extinguisher um, wow <laughs> the cupboards go on and on um, dishwasher in here um, just under the sink cupboard again with everything you might want to, what you need you know there's some cleaning things in there if you need them um, what's in these drawers let's have a look guys oh wow well, just you know everything you might need even foils and cling films you know if you wanted to do yourself a pack pat lunch you can wrap your sandwiches up and things and this is the dinnerware in here well that's pretty isn't it very pretty and in the bottom drawer is just some dishes and some napkins some chopping boards what's in this one oh what's in there oh it's a wine box yeah, the sink is in, built into the island, so that's it there. Some hand soap, kettle. Oh, they've left us some hot chocolate. There's some coffee, some tea bags, sugar, some more coffee. Um, oh, I love these. Hen and cockerel. So just some like bits of decor, a couple of gin glasses there. So I love, I do love the shelf as well. So guys, um, and that's the patio, you know, the doors to, to go out. I do love this. It's um, a map. And instead of it being in one frame, they've split it off into different frames. I think that's really, really nice. Um, I've got a light there. And I like that as well. It says, never stop exploring. And I think that's just a great phrase, isn't it? going to be lovely sitting out there you know with a, a glass of Prosecco in the sun setting can't wait for that you know it's in the fridge spotted it <laughs> David spotted it too so I just I'm going to show you from this angle so that's the kitchen it's just a beautiful room this so I'm going to take you through and show you the rest of them um, of the uh, cottage so we'll come in here and this is a bedroom 
So we've got two twin beds here, which I guess you could put them together if you wanted, you know, to um to make sort of um a double bed. We've got a wardrobe here. I've just put some of my things in there. Um, look at these. <laughs> How cute are them? I think the needle felt. They're just so sweet, aren't they? Absolutely lovely they are. Um, yeah, so this room, it's really, really nice. And there's a little seat here under the stairs in the corner, which is really nice. I love the cushions. I hope you can see the cushions. They've got all of the like woodland animals on. So that's really nice. I've got a little waste paper bin there. And this chest of drawers, which is really lovely. And I do like the pig there. And the little duck picture. It's absolutely beautiful, guys, this um, place. You know what, if you go out here, this is another way out. So I'll just open the door. You can go out here and we have this kind of view. So this is our patio here. It's a bit more private around this side. And it just, our, this is like the patio we have and it just goes all the way around. So quite a huge area we have. Um, this is the cottage from this view. I think there's an aircraft flying by. <laughs> okay, so we're back in here. And I'll take you in the bathroom next. So we'll find the bathroom light. Any ideas, David? Bathroom light? Oh, found it. So, yes, this is the bathroom. So we've got the sink here with the built-in. Well, it's built-in. We've got towels there. And loo rolls, hand soap, and a mirror. I do believe this might light up, guys. I know my mind you put your hand underneath and it lights up. I'm not quite sure how that works, or is that for it? No, I don't know. <laughs> um, so, little cupboard here to put all your toiletries in as well. And Oh, do you know what? I love this. Look at these towels, the sheep. They're adorable, absolutely adorable. The tiles are beautiful as well. You know, it's really, really a nice little cottage. Um, just the loo and this, uh, well, it's quite a, quite a big shower, isn't it? You know, um, so there you go. Okay, so the bathroom's pretty big, actually. Now I've got one more place to show you, and that's the upstairs. So we'll put the lights on and we'll, we'll go up here. So. And this is the upstairs bedroom. Oh, it's dead sweet. Oh my. It's just adorable, it really is. The bedding's beautiful with these like little monkeys on and you know me and my um tropical kind of vibes, you know. It's got all the tropical leaves, the bedding. I just absolutely love it. And loads of space under there. So we've got these drawers here to put your things in. I love the book ends. Can you see the book ends? The hairs. So they've left us a few books as well to read. Um, there's a bin there. And look at the table that they're on. This like wooden table. That is so cool. cool. It really is so cool. Love it. Um, over here is a nice little chair. So you can just sit and relax. Read a book. Um, two bedside tables and this is the view from outside I don't know if you can see but it's a beautiful view this is a working farm by the way um, so that's going to be fun I'm hoping that we'll see some animals as well with it being a working farm 
but that's the view it's lovely i don't know how to get these blinds up guys um i have not a clue this is it oh there i think um i think i've worked it out oh there there guys that's the view that we have beautiful absolutely stunning Just drop back downstairs. And um, to say that we booked this last night, late last night, I think um, we got like a pretty good place, you know, for last minute, like that, because it really is beautiful. And there's more than this cottage here. There's a few more, isn't there, David? A few more cottages here. Yeah. Rented out and people live there, but there's a few oh. here and a couple more around the corner, so right. Sort of group, if you like. Uh huh. So, yeah, it's beautiful, guys. I'm going to put the kettle on and I'm going to have a cup of tea and I'll catch up with you I later. The stuff. What's the important stuff? I've got the Wi Fi password. Oh, <laughs> okay. Bye for now, guys. Bye.
Good morning guys. Um, yes, we've woke up today and it's a beautiful morning. Um, we can hear the birds like chirping outside and it's really nice and sunny as well. So um, I'm glad that we've picked like this weekend to come away. Actually, we could, I'm saying pick this weekend to come away. This was the only weekend we had to come away. Um, as you can see from sort of the wind just behind me there, it's like beautiful, you know, and sunny. I don't know where we're going to go out today. I'm just going to spin you around and show you what it's like outside. So this is the view from outside. It's it's glorious today. I mean, I haven't been out. It might be a bit chilly. I'm not sure, but... um. It certainly looks nice. The sky's pretty clear. So, um, yeah. Looking forward to getting out and about it here. I'm not sure where we're going to go. Actually, let's have a look because there is some like little information leaflets and things. Um, I just, I love this wall here. Isn't this lovely? It's like a little wall. Um, and oh, do you know what? I didn't show you these yesterday. How cute is that? The little planter, and look, it's like got dog poop bags in. So they've actually thought of everything, you know, in this um, cottage. But it's massive. This room. I mean, this is the size of some people's kitchens. This boot room, you know, the like entrance lobby. It's just, it's huge, absolutely huge. Um, these leaflets here. So I'll just grab those and we'll, um, we'll have a look and see where we can go to here. There's also, um, I've noticed, it's so warm in here, guys. I mean, it's a huge room, like in height, but they've got the underfloor heating. So it's really, really nice. And me and David were thinking about maybe putting it in the conservatory because um, we haven't we haven't got a radiator in there. So I think this underfloor heating will probably work quite well in there. Anyway, oh, the tea towel, David. I wanted to show that tea towel. Can you pull it out? Sorry, guys. This tea towel, um, you see them, you know, when you're, oh, when you're on holiday and stuff as souvenir towels. But this one, cycle in the deals. Now, I'm not into cycling at all. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I used to have a rally grifter bike when um, when I was a kid, like when I was young. And um, I've only ever rode a bike a few times since having my rally grifter. I do have a bike, but just not riding it. Look at, it. <laughs> Look at that. That's dead funny. But my brother is a really keen cyclist, and he kind of cycles on a semi-professional level, doesn't he? Yeah. My brother. Well, he did until he had his accident. <laughs> I'm seeing accidents because he's had many guys, many, and he still gets on the bike. So um, he's crazy, he really is. Anyway, these are the kind of places. So um, you know, over in Cumbria, and um, I've never even heard of some of these places. But it's like a cycle route. But obviously, you don't have to use it as a cycle route. It's just you know. We, I think we were thinking about going here, aren't we? This um, Stump Cross Caverns. We passed it on the way here and it looks pretty nice. And where was that other place where we passed? Um, Pately Bridge looked really nice when we drove through. Gressington or something. Gressington. I uh, don't know if it's on here. But anyway, I mean, Ripon is beautiful. Um, probably go out to Fountains Abbey because... As you can see, Fountains Abbey is there. So we're going to hopefully get around today. Um, I don't know what order that it's going to be in, but we're certainly, you know, going to get about today. And uh, well, I'll take you along with us as well, you know. But um, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I've got a cup there ready. David's already making his coffee. And, um, I need caffeine, what can I say? Yeah, he needs caffeine. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and um, yeah, plan our day.
guys, don't know if you remember, but um, I pointed out this milk last night um, when we got here. Um, it was left along with this like lovely basket of like goodies, which we haven't had yet, but we will have. Um, and this milk is um, W. Harris, what is it? Sorry, it's W. Harrison, and it's from Settle. So Settle's where? Just along the road? It's about 20 minutes drive up the road. So although this, this farm isn't a dairy farm, um, they do support other farms. You know, they're fellow farmers. Mm -hmm. So they've gotten the milk from, um, you know, this Harrison um, farm. So I thought that was quite nice. And yeah, I'm just gonna put that in my tea. So guys, um, I've made my tea, um, I've got my snooty on because um, it's a bit fresh, should we say, the morning's a bit fresh. So I'm going to sit out on the patio and have my cup of tea. guys um we've got these like leaflets here of things in the area um to do but i'm um, most here and um, these kind of um parking permits so you must have these it seems to be over in cumbria where they have them because we've been caught out before where we didn't display this disc and we got a parking fine even though we were in like a park parking area where we were allowed to park you have to display this disc now they should pick them up the the free um but you must have one on your car it's really weird you know but um this is how they do it around here so you can pick these up from places like the tourist information shop sometimes they have them tied on trees don't they mm. um so or you can just news or in like news that. agents but um you must use one of these when you're parking um Otherwise, you're going to get parking fine like we did. I mean, I'm going back many years now. Even if you've paid for the parking. Even if you, ticket. yes, and that's even. You still have to pay for your parking, guys. So what we what we did, we were in Carlisle, weren't we? And we'd um, paid for the park and parked in the spot. It said disc is on, as it says on here. But um, we didn't have this disc in the car. And I tried to argue the fact that, well, hang on, I've paid for the parking. And they said, no, you you weren't displaying the disc. So, tough. <laughs> It's, it's mainly street parking. Yeah. There's like car parks and. So we will be taking this. Normal. We will be taking this with us in the um, car, you know, because we're planning on going to this settle market. It's um, like an old, old um, town, isn't it, or something? Yeah, it's an old market. Sorry, town. I'll tell, let David tell you about it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a, a small market town. Uh, it's one end of the, the settle Carlisle railway. So if right. anybody's into their, their sort of old railway lines and, and trains and that's a, a good one we've done part of it to mm, we did a couple of yeah. years ago so. okay <clears throat> so the skipton castle that might be a good one um what else have we got there's probably lots to do around here oh the forbidden corner guys if you haven't been here yet it is the most brilliant place i absolutely love it um i took the kids there when they were young and they love it they always remember this place out of anywhere i've ever taken them like at home abroad they always remember this place and um i can't wait to take pippin here but um it is a wonderful place uh, for kids it's not very expensive to get in you have to book your slot but it's like a labyrinth you know so if you're into like what would, what would you see it old quirky things oh, old quirky it's like a folly definitely. it's a folly and um like it's just a labyrinth you know honestly i want to go now <laughs> it's brilliant and you take off like the places where you find you know so when you get to this bit this is what actually when you go in isn't it you go through this um mouth 
you walk through here and it makes it a kind of gurgling noise as you walk through doesn't it mm. but you kind of tick off you know these places as you get there um and you make sure that you visit everywhere but this one's like this is like a, a devil isn't it in the, in the middle um, yeah, but that's also underground as this well. This is un underground, like by the underground way. You go up. Maze. It's weird. Yeah, it's, it's un caves or something. <laughs> underground maze as well, and this is a mausoleum, I think, up here. Mm -hmm. um, but these, these, some of these are doorways that you go through, and it takes you to different other parts. But honestly, it's so exciting. It's it's brilliant, and even if you've been before, you know, you still get a thrill from going again. But uh, you do have to book, you know, in advance. So just just to see these admission prices here, you guys. So thirteen fifty, eleven fifty. But you can spend, you know, um, as long as you want when you're in there. There's beautiful like picnic areas, um, you know. It's, it's just nice scenery and everything. So yeah, that's a good one. You know, if you want to take the kiddies or your grand, you, you know, your grandchildren. Oh, did you hear that horse? <laughs> that was a bit disconcerting because I'm not used to horses. <laughs> it's in one of the fields. I think there's a few. Yeah. Around. Oh, we'll have to try and see if we can see them. Um, Trans Pennine Trail, Settle Area, we'll probably take that with us. But yeah, we're going to just flick through these and, you know, see what we've got. Ingleton Waterfalls, um, see where today takes us. But I think it might be Settle and mm. maybe somewhere else on the way as well. So if we do, I should certainly take you along with us. Right, guys, we've just had our tea and coffee on the patio it was really nice and we're going to do um, some breakfast now I guess are we yeah do some breakfast now Indeed. yeah Sorry. bacon sandwiches bacon and tomato for me because I like tomato yeah we're going to have bacon um, and sausage and tomato yeah sandwiches so these are just what we picked up from Aldi you know the the old oh old <laughs> Oakhurst bacon and I love these guys I don't know if you've had them from Aldi but they're the six caramelized onion sausages oh, they're absolutely amazing they're my most favorite ones these also we've got our sausage bacon and I've got tomato David it's okay now you on the tomato yeah, oh you've got some tomato hiding underneath there <laughs> so we're going to enjoy these probably going to sit at the table here and then yeah, we'll get dressed and head off out for the day. Oh my goodness, you talk about windy. We've just come through a village and it was like really, really tight. The roads, the lanes, oh look at the sheep. This road is quite narrow as well. Right guys, we're at, um, what's it called? Um. <laughs> Sorry, Scaleborough. We're at um, Scaleborough. Um, it's Waterfalls, isn't it? What's it actually called? It's, anyway, it's Scaleborough Force Falls. Scaleborough Force Falls. So we've come to um, see waterfalls here. So it's a bit of a rough kind of hike thing. Uh, trail, hike trail. <laughs> so I'm going to change my boots and put something a bit more suitable on. And we're going to go for a little hike up to the waterfalls. So I'm just going to change out of these boots and put these ones on. Hey guys, the scenery is lovely here. I'm just going to pan around and show you. Look at that. It's lovely. I can hear water. So they must be over in this direction. Let's go and find out. Right, we're here. We're at Scaleborough Wood. And... So public footpath to scale before don't know where do you ever off to look at him oh crikey <laughs> only trolls live under bridges <laughs> come back you troll <laughs> right so oh look at these like cute little you can tell I'm a city girl can't you so I'll just zoom out. You gotta get go up here and through. So let's do that. I've just like stepped up the steps to go through the the gap, and it looks really nice, doesn't it? Oh, let's explore. Oh, what did you find? Is 
see what David's found. Oh, it's the waterfall. Right, so we're at the top of the waterfall. This is scary because um, I'm terrified of heights. But can you see down there? Let's have a look. So we're at the top of the waterfall. We're going to go to the bottom of the waterfall now, guys. Oh, I've just spotted something else, guys. It's like a thing up here. Let's have a look. Don't know what it is. Hmm. Right, I've lost David. The last time I saw him, he was at the top of the waterfall. So I'm not sure where he is now. Oh, you're there. There he is. You definitely don't want to go where I've just been. <laughs> <laughs> it's a liability guys, he really is. Right guys, I'm almost down to the bottom. David shocked. I did, yes. <laughs> David came down and um, I said, oh, I can't make it down there because I'm terrified of heights. But I've actually did it. You know, I'm so proud of myself because honestly, I am terrified of heights. But I just wanted to say it that much, you know. Um, I've literally walked down a blooming mountain. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah there's the waterfall there isn't it lovely I'm going to go down here as well and get some shots guys so I'm going to just take some pictures There's one guys, look at him. How are you going to get back? <laughs> He's been all the way over there to the waterfall. So yeah, so you know that bit in Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Where they, uh, they sneak into Mordor up that really rickety, really steep, horrible staircase? Yeah. Well... And guys. Yeah. And... And guys, I've got to walk up it. But remember, I did walk down it and it was... Yeah. Have <laughs> Just, we've just gotten up and we've had a little bit of breakfast and we're on our way out for the day. Um, today we're going to go to Janet's Force, which is, is it called Janet's Force? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's what? Yeah, Janet's Force, which is another waterfall. And we're also going to somewhere called Malham Cove and Malham itself as well because we've heard that it's like a really nice place to visit. 
So um, yeah, we're off there and um, I'll take you along and show you some of that. Today um, I'm wearing outfit of the deer, guys. I do outfit of the deer. I'm wearing a black, um, what's this? Jaylee, I think. Yeah. A black Jaylee by Regatta and my fleece, which I got from, I think the Mountain Warehouse. It was in one of my holes. Uh, sorry, the camera's all off. I've just got black leggings on and my trainers, the great trainers, guys, that I got from Primark. Uh, recently so that's my outfit of the day i'll just do you have a take over so <laughs> I'm, I'm bad at this outfit of the day thing hang on yeah yeah <laughs> so this is it guys the outfit of the day just i don't always wear dresses <laughs> i don't always swan around in dresses believe me most of the time well quite a lot of the time especially this time of year i'm in this kind of stuff because you know as you probably know those of you who's been here a while i've got six dogs so i'm usually in this kind of stuff you know to, to like go walking them and things so right we're off and i'll take you along with us right guys we're kind of around malham cove at the minute um but we've we've climbed this huge huge hill <laughs> what was it no. or a mountain it's a, it's, a, well, it's a series of hills it's we like a load of hills and honestly we're starting to um you know descend now but i just wanted to show you this view because it's just wow i'm going to flip this around and show you Look at that view. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's really, really amazing views. So we're going to go down um, the hill now. Bank, what was it? Mountain. I don't know what it is. I'm a city girl. It's not a country girl. But I'd like to be a country girl. We're going to go down to the bottom of the Malham Cove. And um, and so we're looking up from it because, well, I'm terrified of heights and it's not, it's not going up here. It's very high. So we'll see you at the bottom. So guys, over here is the top of the cove. But I'm not going to stand on the top of no drop like that. <laughs> These roads are just hair raising. They really are because it's like two way traffic, but the lanes are so narrow and it's like hairpin bends. Honestly, it's like really, really. I'm glad David's driving and not me. I mean, I, I would if I had to, but um, it is really, really nerve wracking. As you can see, like the bends are just. Ooh. <laughs> And look, look how narrow like the points are on the road. So I think we're nearly at the bottom, yeah? Um, no. <laughs> no, we're not, we're not nearly at the bottom. I'm just being optimistic. Oh, the road's getting better at least. Um, no. Right guys, we're on this like public footpath and we're going to the bottom of Malham Cove. But like, I love these like little footpaths because they're like just... They're all over, aren't they? they are but look, here, yes. some like really nice houses and that that you pass. You know, really, really nice properties. So you see loads when you're walking down them, and like they're everywhere. They're all over, like England, Can aren't they? And, well, all over the UK. Yeah, and if you're nosy like us, <laughs> right, guys, we've came to a, a um, crossroads. Well, there's that way. This is the way we've came here. So there's that way. There's that way, or oh, there's through this way. Now I'm thinking, not that way, not that way. I'm gonna go this way, it looks more interesting. I knew there was a reason I wanted to come down this way. There's a pub, <laughs> it's, it is a pub. This is truly like a foresty walk. Look at this, guys. I love the weeping willow. This is like a stream, or is it a river? Oh. Oh wow. So look at this. <laughs> Got a cross here. Oh, how nice. Now water doesn't bother me as much as heights does. Oh, isn't this lovely? I think just the sound of running water is just so peaceful. Oh, wow. 
Uh -huh. so, look at these and that's the pub. <laughs> I, see, I can sniff beer gardens out a mile. I really can. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great talent to have. <laughs> right, anyway, we'll be a garden later. We're going to explore along here. So I'm at the bottom of Madame Cove. You can see it in the background. There it is. That's not its highest point, I don't think you can see the highest point, can you? There's the highest point up there. You can actually walk up the stairs. You see them here, people's coming down. You can walk it all the way up to the top, but we're not going to do that today because we want to go to Janet's Foss. But there's about 400 steps to the top. Right, I'm right at the bottom of the cove now. I'm just going to pan up and show you. I can't believe people's climbed it They're on the ledge here. Certainly braver than me. <laughs> right, no surprise, we found the beer garden. We're in the beer garden. Tiffet's got a pint and I've got a glass of red. And look at this view. Next to a babbling Oh my goodness, you talk about a drop. <laughs> Going down. <laughs> right guys, we're here, but at um, Janet's Foss. That's National Trust. Yeah. Oh, so let's go. Let's go and explore. My god guys, it really does look like an enchanted forest. Right guys, honestly, I feel like I'm in Lord of the Rings or something. <laughs> look at this landscape. Wow. guys I'm at the um, top of the waterfall at Janet's Foss and oh look at it it's lovely so this is the stream that runs down into that beautiful waterfall and I'm going to try and get down there um, I don't know how far I'll get because I'm terrified of heights um, okay I think this is as far as I'm going to get so this is the top of the waterfall. It just looks so like magical. It's beautiful. I would definitely recommend a trip here if you're in the Yorkshire Dales. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see like more of this kind of video, just let me know, you know, in the comment section below because we do do like little deers out here and there as well. Um, well, quite often 
I, I don't vlog it, you know, but we have National Trust memberships. So we sometimes visit, um, you know, National Trust property. So if that's something you'd be interested in, you know, I'll take my camera along with that and, you know, vlog them um, little adventures. But uh, yes, if you've liked this video, please give me the thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. And to all of my existing subscribers and viewer friends, thank you so much for all your continuing support. I really, really appreciate it and um, until the next time guys which will be I'm not sure what it'll be <laughs> um, <laughs> a surprise <laughs> uh, I'll see you next time guys take care everyone bye bye